Hi, today we will make a Labyrinth board game with an Arduino. We need a box with the following dimensions and a chipboard rectangle this size. As for electric parts, we need an Arduino Nano, a joystick, and two servos. We also need some mechanical parts, a 10 millimeter bolt with a nut, an 8 millimeter bolt with a nut, a nut like this, a ball, and a washer bolt. Make holes in the chipboard larger than the ball's diameter. Drill them with a 20 millimeter bit. This is how it should look. Measure the middle point and drill a 10 millimeter hole there. Center punch it before drilling. Insert the 10 millimeter bolt in the hole and tighten it. It must be slightly visible. You need to have a small dent in there. Mark it in the middle of the board below and drill an 8 millimeter hole there. Insert the screw in it. Put a washer bolt and a lock nut on the screw. and tighten it all with a nut cap. Try the top part on. The screw and nut dent should fit into the nut cap. And the board should move freely. Attach the legs to the back side of the box. The small ones, like these, should fit. Take out one of the box sides. There are three Confirmat screws there. Fasten the servo to the bottom. The outer hole of the servo arm should be placed at the center of the board. It should look like this. Each servo should be fastened with two screws. Drill one millimeter holes in this board. The holes in the board must be directed at the right angle to the axis of the outer hole of the servo arm. The sketch is really simple. Connect an orange servo to pin 3 and another one to pin 10. Connect the joysticks X and Y pins to 3 and 4. Then, cut the ceiling foam into stripes like these and glue them to the top with a two-component adhesive. The beauty of this game is that you can build any type of maze you wish. There are Arduino Uno and two servos inside the box. I decided to take the Arduino Uno as I don't have many nano ones, and I need them for other crafts. The info on how to program the Arduino and the links for all the equipment used are in the video description section. This is the inside view. Connect the servo arms with wires to the top. Glue the wires to the top and bend them to even the top. Make a hole at the side corner of the box to pull the power supply wire and the joystick wire out of the box. Connect the power. Check how the device works. Let's play. Take the ball, put it at the starting point. The goal is to make the ball reach this point. Try it first. Here is another hole in this part of the box. It's for the ball to roll out. The joystick is set upside down, so I have to use it like this. You can set it another way in the sketch, but in this case, it is like this. Pushing it down makes the board move towards me. Pushing the joystick upwards moves the board away from me. Left is left, and right is right. Let's play. So I could only get to the third hole. The game is quite challenging. If you enjoyed watching the video, click like and subscribe to my channel. There will be more tutorials for you in the future. See you!